He is smooth. Hey, welcome back to Rusted and Busted. This video is all about lines. Uh, brake lines, air lines, and uh, hopefully air tank. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we do have a special guest today who's gonna come and install the windshield. Hopefully he lets me record him because he does amazing work and uh, hopefully he likes what I've done here. He was the same guy who took the windshield out and uh, when he's putting it in, I'll kind of show a before and after of what it looked like when we took it out and what it looks like now going in. So we have some uh, stainless steel brake lines that had come in from Corvette Central who were manufactured by a company called Classic Tube. Uh, they, they do all kinds of uh, classic car uh, tubing and stuff like that. So these aren't new old stock, this is brand new. They make these to order. As far as I understand, I follow them on Instagram. They're really nice uh, guys. I've been chatting with them a little bit. And uh, everything that I've tried on so far, I haven't installed any permanently yet, uh, but the bends are perfect. Uh, they do come slightly bent from the factory because obviously you have to run the length of the car. This one I can't use actually is for 84 to 91. It says uh, it goes to the ABS T line which this car does not have ABS uh, and the lines I've picked out already and kind of laid out are the ones I need, not this one. So if uh, anybody needs a ABS to rear T line, let me know. I have an extra. Uh, so anyway, we'll get moving right along. We'll start the work. I have to prep for the windshield guy and find some pieces that hold the windshield up so we can let the glue dry and do all that kind of fun stuff. So we're going to obviously run the brake lines from front to back. Hopefully I get that on camera properly. I might start using the GoPro for underneath the car because you can't really see much. I'm gonna run the airlines parallel with the brake lines and hopefully that works out pretty good. I'm not quite sure what to do on the passenger side for the airline. Maybe I'll run it along with the fuel line. We'll figure that out. Oh, and I also have fuel lines. I should probably put those in too while I'm under the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get started.
Well, windshield's in, and it looks fantastic. Now we're gonna move on to putting on the brake lines and running some air lines. So this driver's tire has to come off. The main line runs across here and up into this little three-way valve. And then uh, we'll bring in, show you where that's connected. Up in here we have this curved piece. It runs into this three-way splitter here. So the main line comes up from the front and then this line here goes up and around and across to the back. So I fear I might have to take off or drop the rear end again. We'll see. But by the looks of it, that might have to happen. So we'll see. But uh, we'll go ahead and get that line up here. We'll take this bottom piece off and maybe this triangle, this whole piece here. And we'll put a bucket so we catch the old brake fluid and we'll start running some new lines. So we've got the old ones out, for the most part. I still have to do the rear that goes across left to right. That has to come out, but this is the new one right here. Nice and stainless. Uh, this one was bent from shipping. I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit of a bend here, but I'll kind of straighten that out and it should be enough to kind of just go across from one side to the other. We do have this little one, which goes to this tire, which will replace uh, this one. So that should be kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how this fits. Here, it goes the entire length of the car, so it's quite long, and it was also bent on shipping. So this should work out. Uh, I'm hoping it might be a little bit of massaging to do, but so far so good. These are really nice and super solid. It's always nice to see this spring uh, not rusted to the actual line itself. So yeah, it should be good. Once this is on, I can put those U-clips up and hopefully get an airline to run parallel to this. And we can put some wire loom on top of the airline so it doesn't chafe or kind of rub on this piece. But uh, yeah, pretty straightforward it seems like. Uh, we'll just see how the bends are and stuff getting it up into the front and to the back. On the front here, this runs under the frame, up and around, and against the frame here, along the side, and then up into the bottom of the master cylinder. We're going to connect the soft line to this, and we're going to get this air line out of the way. <laughs> Well, 
it's not as plug and play as I thought. <laughs> the the issue I'm finding is uh obviously it was bent on packaging, so you have to kind of bend it back. Also, there was a piece uh, in this kit for a later year, so it's very universal. And so far, so good. I just need to fandangle a little bit, finesse, if you will. So, yeah. Look at these tires. Place some earplugs. Face mask. What are we doing, Nate? I don't know, you tell me. We're cutting the hood. Yeah, you know this. Yeah, I know. I was playing coy. Should I wet it first? <clears throat> I don't know. Your show. Well, I don't want to get any asbestos on me. Too late for that. I'm gonna go. Just follow me. I think I should cut from the inside instead of the outside. Because well, I don't know where it comes from. The front sticks out more than the back does, almost. Yeah, it will like... Well, because the back's wider anyways, I guess. <clears throat> the back is also a little cambered in. Yes. But that's not all the way down, though, right? Not quite. Almost. You can control the camber? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So we cut the hood, success. We were successful in cutting the hood. Sawzall works better than a jigsaw. And uh, we'll have some lines to clean up, but we may have to trim some more. We'll see here in a second when we put her on the ground.
It's a little tight. A little tight, but that's like all the way, right? Yeah. It might be up just a hair. No, actually, it'll be right there, probably. Five and a half inches. You can do plenty with that. Clearance, yeah. That's there. Oh, the exhaust is pretty low, though. Three inches? Three and a half inches. Off the grid. And the front is pretty well the same. At least the oil pan's not there. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. What have I done? Wasn't that the title of your opening for the series? It's true. What have I got myself into or something? Something like that. Yeah, man. It needs a wash, that's it. Wash and a buff? Wash and a buff, send it. I need a 10 inch body kit. <laughs> <laughs> and we're deleting the pop ups. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, recap what's happening here. We got a little carried away and we uh, cut the hood so it fit over the wheels. We still have a little bit of trimming to do, but that's okay. Uh, we can get to that. We've run some air lines. I need to put some more loom on this one. We run it down underneath and then around and across and down towards the back of the car. We've, I've also put the brake lines on. As you can see right here, we have some nice shiny stainless lines running to the master. Everything is nice and tight. We are missing a piece right here. This is the brake pressure switch, uh, which I've just got the hole plugged right now with a bolt, but we're gonna patch this for now, or at least plug the hole, as it is gonna take a long time for one to come in. So I'm gonna order one, but we'll plug the hole for now so I can bleed the brakes. All this stuff runs down all the way through. This was a kit from Classic Tube, and you can see some more right up in there. Nice and new. I'm going to show you up under here as best as possible. So here we have the line running all the way across. This runs up and around the header. Let's see if I can get down here. Oof, there we go. So that runs up to the master. These two are here together. And they run down across. And then this line with the airline runs all the way across to the back. Uh, here's where I patch the floor. And this view looks really nice underneath. Woo wee! Fresh and new. And here's the bottom of the airbag pot. As you can see, give you a quick little rundown. Nice and clean. This stuff here didn't really bend all that nicely, or it wasn't already pre bent. I know that this kit ranges from 84 to, I think, 91. So some of this might change, there might be some things that change, but in all, very nice kit, very nice kit. I had to re-bend a few things uh, down there, I had to kind of move it around so it wasn't touching anything. But this is perfect over here. There are some support bars that go here and they run directly across onto that other bar over there. So we will get those on as well. We're gonna start building an exhaust soon and hopefully get a garage uh, soon at some point. <laughs> So I don't have to lay on the ground anymore. Uh, but it's coming along pretty nice. Um, I don't know if I can show you the lines. Oh, maybe. Under the car, you'll see new stainless lines that run front to back all the way through. They run up and over the back and into the back wheels. And here we are at the back. We've got uh, the rear suspension looking really nice. I uh, ran some new air lines up and through, and then decided to poke some holes through the top. Uh, I got this idea from Glenn actually through his channel. He had run some, uh, I think, quarter inch lines all the way through, or three eighths lines. So instead, we did some quarter inch lines because we're only running some small ones here. And those are nice and neat and uh, tucked up inside with some wire loom to stop it from vibrating. Uh, they go up and over this support bar and then down and around the wheel. So I have two lines running, one on either side of the car. 
So now all the lines are run through the back here. They all come up through the bottom. We're going to put a plate, like a plate on the back here or a piece of wood or something to kind of bolt everything to. Uh, I think we're going to do that in the next one and uh, kind of button up some of this stuff and get it going. So at least now I have them labeled. I can go front and back only. And that is going so far. What I need to do is button up some of this alignment, which I'll probably do off camera. Just kind of do some measurements, straighten the wheels out. So once I drop this hood, we can start building the body kit. More progress made, which is very good. We got the stainless steel lines on, we got the air lines run. We've got some tubing that I've put on already. We're waiting for another tube I ordered, which is coming in tomorrow for the power steering. Uh, I did have some 5 8 line that I thought I could use, but it ended up being like uh, probably two feet longer than it needed to be because it didn't bend nicely, kind of kinked in one spot, and that is the suction line for the reservoir. So I don't really want that to kink and things like that. So I got the proper one. It's on its way. Uh, it'll be here hopefully tomorrow. And then we'll get to put that on with some, some clamps and we'll hopefully start putting some fluid in here and get this going. I need to get the rad support in and kind of mocked up so we can run some uh, lines for that. I have uh, a friend uh, who I met online, Riley Young. Uh, he's sending me some transmission lines, uh, which is super cool. Uh, so thanks to him ahead of time before they show up here, uh, we're gonna run some transmission lines, some new ones from the same place. Uh, right up to the radiator from the transmission. I was going to do AN lines, but it's pretty well overkill for what we've got going on here and obviously more costly. So what we're going to do is just kind of get it functional when it comes to engine swapping and doing some more fun stuff. We'll start upgrading the gas lines and other things like that as well if need be. Because what we want to do is we want to start the bodywork as soon as possible. So it's getting that crunch time, it's starting to get nice out. I can open the door soon and start sanding and let the dust out and you know things like that. So I don't want I don't want to get this place all covered up in uh, in fiberglass dust and whatnot. So we'll try and get that going. And also the smell of resin is just gonna seep through the house and Emily won't be too happy about it. So we've got some pink foam back there, which you've seen, and we're gonna start building and kind of forming the body kit for the car. So there's a few more tweaks to do. I have to fix one gas line, I have to re-flare it. So I'm gonna do that right now, and then that'll be fine, it'll be ready for next video. And hopefully we get this thing started up very soon. So there's just some wiring to do, and then we should be able to start it right up. So. Uh, I know it sounds easy, but there's still lots to do. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And we're creeping up to 2,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Uh, it has been an awesome year for me, for the car. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the build. Uh, I, I appreciate everyone. Uh, and the community has been great. Everyone's so friendly, so it's awesome. Uh, I've met a lot of nice people, a lot of great people. And uh, I hope hopefully you guys learned something from what I'm doing either from my mistakes or from something that you want to do yourself. So in the comments, let me know your favorite part of the build so far and what you want to see coming up next. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.